For many years, the French national team were constant sons of achievers. With two World Cup semi-final appearances and one European Championship semi-final, they had come close to finals but had always fallen at the final hurdle. In 1984, on the back of narrowly missing out on their first World Cup final two years previously, they hosted the European Championships. Under the management of Michel Hidalgo, and with legendary midfielder Michel Platini leading the side, it was a chance for them to finally claim some silverware. This is the story of Euro 84, France's first honour. Euro 84 would have eight participants, split into two groups of four. The opening game would be between France and Denmark at the Parc de Princesse. For a large part of the encounter, the game passed without many chances, although Denmark's star player, Alan Simonsen, was forced off with a broken shin bone. The loss of their star man rattled the Danes, and in the 78th minute, the French finally broke through. Michel Platini netted to put France ahead. The game would finish in an ugly manner though, with French defender Manuel Amoros receiving a red card for headbutting Jesper Olsen. He would receive a three-match ban for his actions, but fortunately, France held on and emerged as 1-0 winners. France's next game would be against Belgium, and this time, it would be a much more comfortable affair. Michel Platini opened the scoring in the fourth minute and would score twice more to get a hat-trick, with Alain Gires and Luis Fernandez also netting. France's campaign had truly got underway. France's final group game would be against Yugoslavia. The Yugoslavs took the lead in the 32nd minute, but Platini would net in the 59th minute, then made it two consecutive hat-tricks, with goals in the 62nd and 77th minute. Whilst Yugoslavia got one back, the game finished 3-2 to France. Three wins from three sent the French into the semi-finals, and Michel Platini was leading by example, scoring seven goals in only three games. France would travel to Marseille to face Portugal for a chance to reach their first ever international final. With the French as the favourites, it was their best chance yet. The game seemed to be going to plan when a free kick from Jean-Francis Domagou found the back of the net in the 24th minute. Whilst the stadium was filled with glee, the fans soon started to feel nervous. Portuguese goalkeeper Manuel Bento was in fine form, making a series of saves to prevent France from killing the game. And in the 74th minute, Rui Jordão levelled the scores. It was a shock for France, and the game would head into extra time. And only eight minutes into the extra period, a shock appeared to be on the cards. Jordão was on target again to put Portugal 2-1 up. Portugal were within touching distance of a shock and a place in the final, but fortunately for the French, the game wasn't over yet. Domagou got his second only six minutes from time as the French breathed a sigh of relief. The game appeared to be destined for a penalty shootout, but once again, France's main man was able to show his magic. Jean Tigana took the ball through the Portuguese defence and round the goalkeeper before cutting it back for Michel Platini. Platini netted, and France were in front in the 119th minute. A few minutes later, the final whistle went, and they had finally been able to get past the semi-final. France's first ever final would take place four days later, back at the Parc des Princes against Spain. It was a golden opportunity for them to finally lay claim to some silverware. A crowd just short of 50,000 attended the stadium to see the final. The game failed to deliver the entertainment it had promised, with neither side able to find a breakthrough in the first half. But in the 57th minute, France had a free kick on the edge of the box. Michel Platini curled the ball towards the bottom corner, but Spanish goalkeeper Luis Arcanada was able to get down and catch it, or so it seemed. With it initially seeming as though he had caught the ball, it somehow trickled out of his grasp and slowly crossed the line to put France in front. It certainly wasn't the most glamorous way to take the lead in an international final, but the French contingents didn't care. They were on their way to glory. Spain searched desperately for an equaliser, but couldn't get the ball into the net, and Platini's ability to counter-attack was wearing the Spaniards out. But they needed to kill the game once and for all. In the dying moments, a through ball was played for Bruno Bellone. He ran onto it and was one-on-one -on -one with the onrushing Arcanada. With his left foot, he chipped the goalkeeper, and it sailed into the net. France had sealed their first ever 
major international honour at long last. Michel Platini would step up and lift the Henri Delaunay trophy high in the air. An astonishing nine goals in five games in the tournament took his side to the trophy, and it remains a record for goals scored in the tournament by an individual that is unlikely to be broken any time soon. Euro 84 was a huge step for French football. Having come so close to glory in the past, but never quite tasting it, and with no French team ever winning the European Cup at that point, it was a statement of intent. Whilst they did not win another trophy for 14 years, the French golden generation of the late 1990s and early 2000s may well not have been possible if it weren't for the inspiration of Platini and his side. Euro 84 may not be France's most famous honour, but in terms of what it led to, its importance cannot be questioned.